Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to take a look at the guide for specialists. Shameless self luck as always, if you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel and uh, leaving a comment and a like down below. That would help a lot and it means actually a lot to me as well. Moving on to the um, soldier um, specialist more uh, precisely. The specialist is pretty closely related to what the specialist had been before. Uh, I mentioned that every single class was kind of moved into um, uh, two different directions uh, or had two spin-offs. The specialist and the technician are the ones that spun off from the original specialist. Uh, the specialist itself is very, very closely related to the original idea of a specialist. Um, a soldier that uses a, a drone as a support and supports the team in doing so. The tracks uh, that the specialist has available are medic and hacker, which are uh, eerily similar to the base concept, kind of giving uh, credit to Firaxis for doing a really solid design with the specialist. And the third one is an overwatch uh, uh, type of soldier um, that helps the team by simply overwatching uh, the uh, battlefield. Now, first and foremost, uh, for those of you who watched uh, my videos, you would know just how essential I think that uh, specialists are to any type of team. Long War is no difference in uh, that. They are one of the few classes uh, that are dedicated to a support role. I think they should be played as a support role because they, they absolutely excel at it. Um, and just like you can uh, utilize any support character and try to make it a, um, a damage dealing uh, character, um, the outcome might not be as um, as uh, beneficial as a purely dedicated um, uh, a damage dealer that would focus on damage. Good. With that being said, um, there is an everlasting line of argumentation whether a medic or a hacker is better. Uh, quite frankly speaking, you could take uh, both of them uh, on, uh, into one team and uh, that's how good specialists are and uh, still find value out of it. Um, I personally like to take medics over hackers for the sole reason that um, if you play safety first, you will almost always uh, uh, have a higher chance of finishing a campaign over just making those flashy plays. Or in other words, as the saying goes, uh, good offense wins you a game, a good defense wins you a championship. Defense is definitely um, good in a game that relies heavily on statistical randomness. Now, with that being said, Let's move into the different uh, tiers and at no surprise, in my perspective, the strongest build by a margin, heads and shoulders above the others, is uh, the medic, uh, sec uh, seconded uh, to, uh, uh, by the hacker, which is a good niche build uh, specifically against mechanical units and then um, a pretty far distance off of both of these builds, you will find uh, the um, Overwatch type of character. So I will only focus on Medic and Hacker, really. If you are looking into an Overwatch build, feel free to do so. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not going to be as effective in my book. Lance Corporal, Revival Protocol. Super uh, good because the Revival Protocol uh, allows you to also take away uh, Disoriented Stunt, Panic and Unconscious. So basically all of the things that you don't want to have on a unit. Uh, imagine uh, that uh, you are uh, having the option to trade one of your actions on this character to basically fully recover um, uh, an, another uh, character. Uh, specifically, Unconscious um, uh, is a nasty ability. Uh, Revival Protocol shines in so many areas. I, uh, I, I cannot even spend the 15 uh, minutes. wouldn't be enough to, to talk about that. Um, it counters uh, the Shadowbound ability of the Spectres, it counters Disorientation, it uh, counters everything short of Mind Control, Unconsciousness from Stun Lancers is countered, and so on and so forth. It's an incredibly versatile power, um, and even if I was to play a Hacker, I would probably still take Revival Protocol. That is how good it is. Sentinel is a definitely a good um, option. Unfortunately, the base kit of uh, the class doesn't lean itself very well to shooting, um, or not as good as other classes, I should say. And Combat Protocol, finally, 
allows you to uh, finish up enemies, um, dealing guaranteed damage or increased damage to um, to uh, mechanical units. I see many people that absolutely love combat protocol. In reality, uh, whenever I look at the place that um, that those people are making, many of those plays can be more efficiently done uh, with uh, with just applying other more effective means. Uh, you could use uh, combat protocol to remove Overwatch uh, from the enemy. Yeah, but you can take 15 other things uh, that do that as well. You can use it to finish enemies. Yep, but you can take 15 other things to finish an enemy. The point that I'm making is Revival Protocol has no equivalent outside of this uh, particular class. And it's so strong, uh, the entire medic abilities are so strong, that I'm almost always taking a specialist with me. It is the single class that I have the most of, because they are incredibly good. They are probably the most versatile of all classes. Second uh, corporal um, uh, tier, Field Surgeon, reduces uh, wound time for most soldiers. Uh, this is actually awesome. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Uh, if you are getting hit, and you will get hit, uh, specifically on higher difficulties, and if you do crazy shit where you're trying to push the boundaries, then you better have a field uh, surgeon because it essentially together with the infirmary um, allows you to almost jump back into action right afterwards. It is that good. That's why I would use it. Covering fire, good. You can um, now trigger reaction shots with anything. Like I said, the class itself is just not very good in, over, uh, in shooting, but it gets very nice Overwatch abilities. Interference um, cancels Overwatch on a targeted uh, unit. Um, you can use that on top of the combat protocol. You know, I mean, same argument uh, holds true. Uh, this is a niche ability, which can be nice. Uh, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't even end your turn, uh, which is good from an action economy standpoint. Field Surgeon is still better. Sergeant, uh, medical protocol. You can now finally apply medical protocol without moving to the target, which, mind you, is something that the class doesn't have per default anymore. So uh, you um, will, if you have played XCOM, you will know how beneficial it is to just stand somewhere and use the drone to heal. Period. It is very, very, very good. Scanning protocol can be good against borrowed chrysalids, a couple of um, other options specifically where uh, the, um, in team compositions where you are lacking a dedicated scout. So um, I would say scanning protocol is something that you could go into if you feel super, super confident with your positioning. Uh, more often than not, um, medical protocol will be the winner uh, because you can simply heal someone. Trojan is good. It's probably the second strongest ability in the sergeant track, and it would be the first ability if I was to play a dedicated hacker. I would go revival protocol into field surgeon and then Trojan. Trojan um, um, effectively allows you, when you shut down an enemy, that they lose uh, the action on the uh, turn after the um, effect uh, ends. So um, you will not be left um, with your pants uh, down um, after the hack um, of a drone or a mech ends. It just gives you more control over it. So I think it's a nice ability. Um, and for a hacker, that would be the first time that I would deviate. Staff Sergeant, uh, Field Medic, uh, gives your medkits two extra charges. Really nothing more to say here. It's super efficient. Uh, it gives you three charges, later even four charges. Uh, so it's uh, the go-to for Medic. It's a great ability. Ever Vigilant, um, you can uh, completely move and still enter Overwatch, which if you're an Overwatch character is good. Um, but not com uh, comparably good to the field medic. And finally, airdrop. Uh, the gremlin grants an explosive grenade to the targeted ally can be used twice a mission. Not bad if you do have um, uh, something like uh, Grenadier uh, in the team. So it's a nice utility function. And if you were to just use Revival Protocol, Field Surgeon, uh, not even equip a med kit, uh, mm, uh, so skipping Medical Protocol and Field Medic altogether, and instead uh, mm, using the Airdrop and Trojan ability, this here, this ability uh, gives you the option to um, uh, fill uh, the um, inventory of an uh, of a Grenadier um, with two additional grenades. And that's pretty damn 
uh, slick. So uh, for my hacker build, I would go revival protocol, field surgeon into Trojan and airdrop and just skip those two. Next up, tech sergeant, savior, healing abilities, um, restore additional four hit points that is on top to the improved medkits. So yes, you're uh, actually going to restore 10 plus hit points with a single charge uh, if you uh, have improved uh, medkits at a later stage. And that's needed because everyone has a lot of hit points. Super good, I like it. It, get, it just makes the charges more uh, efficient and allows you to counter heal substantial amounts of damage. Cool under pressure, extra um, aim on overwatch and chance to crit. I already mentioned multiple times what I think about uh, the overwatch builds. And finally, fail safe. If you fail a hack, uh, there are no negative effects. That's a big one. So you could even uh, go in a healing build um, and say, you know what, I don't want savior and I rather want to deal, I would rather want to be safe on the hacking side. I personally, um am thinking very very um much about when i'm using a hack and uh, i am committed to to accept the negative consequences uh when a hack happens which is why i don't fear the negative uh, effects as much as others if you're a dedicated hacker with um, uh, with kind of the motivation to always hack and a high text, uh, um, high hacking score, and probably Trojan into airdrop into failsafe uh, because you don't need the healing anyways. Next up, Gunnery Sergeant, uh, Rescue Protocol uh, grants a movement uh, to a uh, unit that might have been caught uh, out of position. It's a good ability. You would be surprised how often that happens. Threat Assessment. Fantastic ability, fantastic ability, even better than rescue protocol. So threat assessment allows others also to benefit from the overwatch. So if you have a dedicated overwatch character such as a gunner or um, such as um, an infantry, um, you can essentially give them an extra ability, an extra overwatch with that. Absolute gorgeous, love it. It's really, really strong. Uh, and it's only trumped by full override, which allows you to take permanent control of a robotic unit um, and acquire it permanently for the resistance. Um, if that wasn't so bonkers and uh, absolutely nuts, um, the other abilities would be worth, uh, would probably be worth taking. But the full override, like the permanent uh, control piece, um, uh, is is like a dominate, but for mechanical units and. Uh, it is so good that you can see even with a medic uh, who kind of finishes all of the necessary skills right here. All of these five here is what the medic needs. And he can now go uh, bonkers and either um, support his allies better with threat assessment or in this case do a little bit of uh, uh, hacking specialization. It's so good that um, you don't even need the other hacking skills to make it work. Finally, Master Sergeant as the last uh, rank. Um, Restoration as an AoE heal. Capacitor Discharge as an AoE damage. I personally appreciate Capacitator Discharge more in the base game of the uh, of XCOM uh, because it is more usable. For long, drawn-out slug-like missions, I started to appreciate the Restoration um, because this here is a, hey, everyone gets 10 uh, to 12 points of healing back type of button. And with larger uh, squads that you are dealing with, i.e. 10, uh, uh, 10 uh, operatives on your side, this just accumulates to become even better. Kill zone, nice ability, but definitely not on par with the other two abilities. I would say if you... Um, feel super confident in never running into uh, problems, capacitator discharge is the way to go and um, I might even skill it on um, on uh, Edgar Alien Poe here. Uh, the restoration is not to be underestimated. So I'll probably go for capacitator discharge in my recommendation here for the medic build which is revival protocol, field surgeon, um, medical protocol into field medic, into savior, into full override and capacitator discharge. Um, equivalently the hacker um, uh, version would be revival protocol into field surgeon, into trojan, airdrop, failsafe and full override and then capacitator discharge. In both of the cases there can be an argument made uh, for the restoration uh, piece 
Uh, probably not for the hacker uh, that is always capacitated discharge, but uh, for the uh, medic build uh, restoration certainly is an option. As always, guys, um, don't forget uh, to like your uh, uh, support characters because they really make the team shine and uh, they deserve as much praise as any other class. Thank you for watching. If you uh, enjoyed it, leave your comment down below and tell me if uh, how you're scaling your specialists. Thanks and see you soon. Bye-bye.